Fox News Alert, we're tracking the latest on the Virginia Beach shootings. A longtime city employee opened fire at a municipal building, killing 12 people, wounding many others before police shot and killed him. And in the past, shootings did not elicit immediate political reactions, but that is not the case tonight with the Virginia Beach shooting. Tonight, several 2020 Democrats are responding, calling for stricter gun control measures, like New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio, who says, quote, we're heartbroken, we're angered, we're out of patience. It's within our power to stop these mass murders. Gun control now. Let's talk to 2020 candidate for president, former Congressman John Delaney. Congressman, it's great to have you. It's great to be with you. What do you make of your fellow presidential candidates calling for gun control right after this Virginia Beach incident? Too soon? Well, listen, this is a terrible tragedy, and, and obviously what we need to be focusing on is doing things to help the community, and particularly the families. You know, we're all heartbroken for the families who have lost their loved ones. I don't even know how much of the information is even out, if they even know exactly who the victims are. Right. So obviously that's got to be our first priority. But we also need to do things as a country to reduce the level of gun violence. I mean, I think pretty much every American agrees at this point that this has gotten out of hand, and there are things we need to do. And uh, But, you know, right now I think the families are really what I'm thinking about. I guess there's a question if the gunman bought the weapons legally, whether there's something that lawmakers could even do to, to stop him. Well, I think there are things we can do. And, you know, things you can do will not prevent every act of gun violence, as we all know. Mm -hmm. But I am in favor of universal background checks. I am in favor of something that my state of Maryland does, which is called red flag laws, which allows family members to go to court and tell a judge that a member of their family has a diagnosed mental illness, they have a firearm, and they've threatened someone, including themselves. It's actually been very successful in my state in getting, the hand, uh, getting a firearm out of the hands of someone who has a serious mental illness. So I do think there are things we can do. I personally am in favor of universal background checks. I think the overwhelming majority of the American people agrees we should have that. Whether that's going to prevent every uh, act of gun violence, that's almost not the question. The question is, will it prevent some of them? And then other things like red flag laws and dealing with the mental health crisis that we have in